Hi guys, this is Ali Starts and welcome to another Scum tutorial video. Today I'm going to cover how sniping works in Scum. So I will go through the mechanics, show you some tips and tricks that have been implemented by the dev and some others that I've learned over the time playing this game. And at the, at the end of it, I will show you a few clips of sniping. Just to finish it. Alright, I'm currently running in s the game in a single player for you guys because obviously this way I won't be bothered by other players. But it's also to show you that a couple of commands that you can use to train yourself and have some f feedback on the bullet pattern. Fir first of all is in single player you can set the weather the way you want to. So for that you just have to s put the hashtag set weather and then it goes from 0 to 1, 0 being the current weather right now and if I change the weather and set it to 1, that's going to be the worst one as you can see, it's terrible, nobody wants to play in this now, after that rain, why am I doing that is I want to be able to con control the bullet trajectories with and be ab being able to counter that and I will show you in a minute how I do it. Um, another way to help you see where your bullets are going because even though they are tracers sometimes it can be a bit hard to see. This is the command you want to enter. And then true. So as soon as I'm going to shoot any bullets you will be able to see the trajectory of the bullet itself so if I go over here shoot the 300 meters you can see the bullet you can see the curve everything is moving nicely gives you a lot of information all right now for the sniping part the trips and tricks that have been implemented by the devs it's very simple I'm gonna lay down here in first person for the 100 meters easy it's already um, zeroed in at 100 meters but once you start to get a bit further you can zero into the distance you want and for that all you have to do is hold shift and we will mouse up and down this way that will zero your gun to the distance you want it to be shot at so let's go for 300 meters we know that the distance is 300 meters right now, we'll go and get the range after that, but let's have a shot. And uh, it's I think it made the target, it's a bit hard to see, but I do think it made the target. Now, another thing, very important that they've implemented, let's say we, you don't have this 300 meters distance, how are you going to get the distance? Well, it's simple, you just have to press once on control left control and there you go you will get your range at which you are gonna have your target same for 400 and so on 500 600 and a thousand meters over there now you there is a limit as to how far you can do that and it is limited by your sniping skill now i'm gonna ha quickly show you where it it is in your metabolism so to check that you go you press tab once go into your metabolism section then into the intel subcategory and in this subcategory you have the sniping now uh, you can t as you can tell it is already maxed out because I'm, I've made a character this way already but what does the sniping skill do well, it's very simple. It helps you hold your brief for longer time. When you press control, for example, for you hold control and your character is going to hold his breath for a certain amount of time and it will hold it longer the more sniping skill you have. Also, what it's going to do, it's going to give you a quicker range. Like if I want to, it takes less than a second to give me the 300 meters distance same for the 1000 less than a second if I had no skill I would be limited on how much how far my range would 
take it. I think in basic at most it's going to give you up to 300-ish meters. Then medium about 600 and s and advanced 1000. You can also get fur further distance one than 1000 by loving it loving up your snapping all the way up to the 10 millions but i've done it a few times and it takes a while i will also show you how to level it up actually very quickly let's go over there the way to level it up uh, your snapping skill is very simple you have to use a scope so what type of scope well f anywhere from the ACOG to the POS POSP site, um, this site goes both on the SVD and the ISVAL. You have the ZF39 which goes on the Mosin and the K98 which are over there. You have the P223 scopes which goes on pretty much any site as long as you have a rail for it or a rail system integrated. You have the hunting scope which only goes on the hunter gun under 85 you have the m82 goes on any side same thing as the put p223 called the dragon of scope and you have the improvised scope that you can make yourself it's not very good but if you don't have a choice this is a way to do it and the last one the m1 scope now the way i like to level up my um, sniping skill is Finding an MP5, finding a rail for it, and put an ACOG on it. This is the best way for me that I found and the cheapest way to level it up. Now what do you have to do? You have to shoot any f anything that's gonna give you a hit count. Like a bird, a zombie, a player, any anything. As long as you shoot it while looking down the scope. Um, so the MP5 is the cheapest, but... It's got a one downside is the MP5 MP5 rail is very hard to find. So that's up to you guys. It is the quickest way definitely to level it up. Otherwise, any of those guns will do it. But they they are more or less expensive. The best one would be to use the hunter. And while you are doing that, you are the hunter does not have an integrated um, suppressor, so you have the choice of the bottle one that you can make the can suppressor and all can and there's a few other ones that you can make too different colors up to use now let's go back to the sniping let's say we have our target at 300 meters so we put the range at that distance easy now when you press control it's giving you a ton of information on the left inside you have the range you have the wind Temperature, humidity, all of this altitude will take be taken into account later on during the game. At the moment, it is not. So what we really need to take into account is the range and the wind. Just keep in mind that the wind change every two minutes or so, I'd say. I'm not sure exactly sure. Two to three minutes, it's changing direction. Can be anywhere in direction. All right. We have a northwest wind, though. So the direction is... The wind, that means the wind is going this way. So against us, coming from the right. To correct that, we are going to need to go into the positive territory. There you go. So same thing. Change Alt Shift at the same time. Alt Shift at the same time. Then we mass up to go into positive. And do a few trials. So it's not too strong. We have a low wind. You can't... I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's a little curve to the bullet and it came back right onto the target. So this is the way you got, you are going to be able to counter your wind. The best way to, to know that is to do it by trial on error or coming here, get a, spawn yourself a gun and have a look at what, it, what happens. No, you have to think of one thing. The bullets that I'm shooting currently are only the 22 caliber so they are very small and they are gonna be very easily influenced by the wind now if I change caliber and go from them to an SVD so 
we go from a 22 to a 762 by 54 if I'm not right and at the 300 meters we have a nice wind now just gonna wait a little bit obviously the further you shoot your bullet the more your bullet is going to be uh, is gonna aim to need some correction you have the possibility on the l bottom left side of your scope to estimate the distance and how do you do that you can tell me I'm currently this is the 400 meter mark so the way I'm going to do that to know the d if I exactly am at that distance is by putting a uh, number 4 400 and try and estimate where my target is sitting at so if I go to the 600 mark over there I just have to s try and sit it over it and it takes tells me the top of the head to the bottom of the wooden path and tells me that it is 600 then I would be able to just range it straight to 600 and do it manually this way without having the range having if I don't have the right distance that's the big advantage of this scope and the most used scope of all if you don't have enough stamping skill this is the scope you want to use guys now let's go back to the 300 meter mark that's the 400 we now have a surface wind so a little bit coming from the left it shouldn't need too much correction as you can tell it barely deviated let's try a bit further 500 meter mark this is it there you go the wind seems to have turned you always have to be careful with that it's always turning on so nothing wind this time so coming from the right 500 meters you want a small correction to it it's a caliber that's not gonna be too much influenced by the wind at least when it's low so even that was a bit too much the bullet end up curving back right on the target it's hard to see but you can see it just curve back to the left no it's even more important let's go for the thousand meter mark let's get the wind still a northeast so coming from the right going left not too strong slight correction and it came and came back right on the target or just right of it ah. The wind has changed direction. What do we do? We just turn this away. Correct this away. There you go. You can see the bullet went curving, started left of my sight and curved back towards the target. Now, obviously, if you pick an M82, it's barely going to get influenced. That is quite up to middle wing. High wind is still gonna get influenced. So I'm gonna range it to 1000 meters. Have a shot. That did not move. Now let's make it a bit more complicated. Set it to 0 0.5 right down the middle. So you when the weather is like this, you start to get a little bit of rain and a, a bit of wind too. Now let's have a look at the difference. Now I do, I'd have a wind that is southwest and mid strong. So this is going in this direction again coming from the left so I'm gonna need to go in a negative corrections How about five we are gonna test it can could you were you able to see the curve of the bullets it's just a little too much this one came back perfectly right on the target on a second shot now it's gonna take you a little bit of training. I'm gonna try uh, as soon as I can make a sort of a, an Excel page for you guys to have a look at uh, later on. That's not that's in a project. I'm currently working on it. It's going to take me a lot of time, and with whole well, just a, pretty much like a little cheat sheet. So you are, you know you have a target at 400 meters. You have a mid strong wind. And you are gonna know this way how much uh, wind correction you're gonna need to use straight away without having to 
guess it. Now, obviously, in a lot of server currently, I loot or not, you have enough bullets to just go. Okay, I'm going. I got this target. I know it's 500 meters. First bullet is going there. It did not move. Okay, so we, we got straight to the target. Let's take 600 meter one. Hopefully, we get a bit of a side win. We have a western win. Just gonna wait for it to change. sit down here so we don't use the stamina south wind perfect so you, you can just do it by yourself you know the wind is coming going south so we are gonna need a little question from the left let's start this way there you go that was just enough one tick on a scope and that was enough to make it i had to kill my target i can leave the area and i'm done all right so that would be it for now Let's have a look at a few clips of sniping. And then guys, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. And guys, if you got any more questions, just put it in the comments and I will do my best to reply as soon as I can. I do think I was gonna go to sleep. No. Oh, that is shot he took. <laughs> You got him? Yeah, muscle yell dead. Oh, I got a pretty good fucking spawn. Oh, actually. I got eyes on him. Got him. Good Billy. Alright, uh, I think yeah. I see him. Because you know, you know whose prop yeah, this is. Okay, I got a major this too. Oh, you got it too. This is where Red Rum does his recordings from. Oh yeah, got us, got us, got us. Can I bury yeah. your shovel? <laughs> <laughs> I did not have, yeah, jungler PVI. Uh, I, I did not even get the the distance thingy. I just went shoot at that distance. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I spotted him just as I ran out of stems. So I'm, <laughs> I'm like, I see him. I had to like duck down, like wait for my stamp to come back up. I'm His bullet came close though. Fuck. One more. Oh, he took a nice headshot this time. He's on the roof. Which roof? The one, he's on the roof. You're pushing, dirty. I'm pretty sure he heard you coming in because he just uh, stopped peeking. I got him. I got, hang on. Anybody on the roof? No. He's, and, he's and got him. Yeah. He's did down. You get him, did you? Yeah, he's gone. He's done. He's dead. On the. Mm. I got a freshy floating, long, very long distance, seven hundred, probably seven hundred meters. He's shooting back. That's probably him. I got him. Oh. <laughs> It is, it is 700 meters. That is the one here by the rock. You see him? I got him. Hobians. 